Hey, it's Hawkin with Top Don. Uh, this vehicle behind me here, uh, Chevy Cruze, just had a battery replaced and the customer expressed some concern about a battery draw. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Top Don oscilloscope here to check and make sure that we do not have a battery draw on the vehicle. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the Top Don oscilloscope on the Phoenix Max. You can see we've got the oscilloscope set up here. Brighten up the picture a little bit for you. So we've got channel one of the scope here. And that is connected here. So the colored lead is connected to this red lead here. And the black lead or the ground side of the scope channel is connected to this black lead. Those are going back here to the current monitor pro, which you can see here are the connections right here. And here's the button. We'll, we'll pull this up so you can see. The two volt DC output and the common output there. So those are connected to our scope. And then on the other side of the current monitor pro, we have, if you look right here, the positive side is going to the battery negative cable itself. And the negative side right here is going directly to the battery negative terminal. So there are a number of different conditions you have to satisfy to set up the vehicle properly to do a draw test, which we will put a slide up on the screen with those basic overall conditions you have to satisfy in order to do a proper draw test. And then basically what we're gonna do is after we go to put the vehicle to sleep, we are going to watch the current on the scope here and make sure that it falls below a, re a reasonable threshold. In many cases, this will be defined in service information. 60 to, milli uh, 60 to 80 milliamps of draw is fairly common on a majority of vehicles, but again, many vehicle manufacturers may provide a spec in service information to give us clarity on what is expected. Now you can see right now, we are above that. So the car is not fully back to sleep. So we're gonna go ahead and let this time lapse. And then when it gets down to the level we are expecting, we will know if there is a draw or not. All right, so you can see right here, we set a threshold with our cursor and our cursor is basically set to, this is our value right here. See if we can get it to focus Y1. And Y1, we set the threshold for 64 milliamps. And you can see our draw has now fallen below 64 milliamps. And if you look right here, our minimum is literally down to 16 milliamps. So we know the vehicle has gone fully to sleep and that there is no draw on the vehicle at this time. Now we could leave this sit for an extended period of time and then do the screen record function on the max to see if at any point in time that wakes back up, just to make sure there's nothing on the vehicle that is falsely waking the car back up. But at this point, we can see that the draw is completely gone. Hey, it's Hawk and the Top Don. Just wanted to say thank you for taking the time to watch our draw test video here on the Chevy Cruze. We found that there is no draw on the vehicle now after the battery was replaced and we just did the confirmation to make sure that that was indeed the case. So make sure to follow, share, subscribe, and watch all our videos. And as always, thanks again for watching.